Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ordinal Markup video, episode 64, and I've grinded way too many Factor Boosts. Again, I'm just going to get right into this. I'm going to collapse for E55 Cardinals, which is way more than I currently have, and, well, actually, you can just see how how, how many Factor Boosts I can get per second. I'm at, the optimal singularity is 394, and I'm just, actually, before I collapse, I want to do Challenge 9, because... Challenge 9, yeah, it, it, it's powerful. Because I'm just going to want as much incrementing as possible. I'm I'm not sure if my um, max singularity is higher than before. I'm hoping it is. It, see, it seems like a little higher. Um, this is E500 incrementing, which is just... I can't really reach that at this point. So, what is, even is my max singular? It's 592. So, I guess... I, I guess that's pretty good. I could try to just like decrease one by one to try to get as much. It's E513. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I have no idea what the. Op okay, that was the optimal. 450 is the optimal singularity level for this. I kind of want to get the E500 because I know it's going to be a huge grind to reach. Um, to, to reach E. Or essentially to reach the next mechanic, which is. I think it's like E540 incrementing. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop grinding in this challenge and uh, of course I'll exit the challenge and then I will collapse and collapse again because this is going to give me, I mean E55 is a lot, but E62 is even more. So you can just see once I distribute all cardinals, I probably want to also just get like max, half of max Aleph Omega here and this will help me get a whole bunch more singularity levels. So now the max is 501, which means I'm, or no, not 501, it's 601. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And I think it's just time to go into Omega Challenges because I really don't see what else I should be going for. And you've seen this already. I don't need to do this on camera. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm back and I have done the, I've done all the Omega Challenges except one and eight. Because th that's the that's the exciting one, because I I want to be able to just you know get as far as possible in this challenge. You can see how many boosters I have. I yeah, the build here is just to do this I think, and maybe even three free factors. And this will just yeah this is gonna be OP once I get everything running here. Like once I do this, I don't need challenge eight goals. I don't really need that. Um, of course I'll get that this and I think that's all I really need to do in this challenge. I think all I need to do is just get to base three and I think we have or okay. A Googleplex incrementy is I feel like oh yeah, of course. Singularity one it's not even that is doing all that much. I feel like this is weaker. Like I got to E one nineteen or, or E one oh nine dark manifolds. And I got to E E one hundred and ten. Obviously missing something. Maybe it's this upgrade. Possibly no. Gives me more ordinal points. This doesn't even do anything though. Oh, it's probably manifolds are buffed. That's why. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing that upgrade, which means that I can get more. I can get all the way up to E one fourteen dark manifolds. It's not the most overpowered thing in the world. I can't. I mean, I guess I, I can increase the singularity a little bit. It's now up to 610, which I guess is decent. I want to get to 616, though. That's the singularity level where I can enter the E, whatever that is. And, well, there's, there's also this portal, which is 90 achievements. And speaking of achievements, you can see where I am with achievements. I have 87, and all I need is this achievement this this one which is a googleplex decrementing in a 7 plus 8 omega challenge pair there's also reach omega to the omega to the omega in challenge 3 which is probably possible so i'm just i'm just putting all my cardinals into here i if i want the 616 um singularity well i can already get one singularity level from this i can get well I can get a bunch, a couple from here, so now up to 612, and 
I could probably get to 614 by just waiting a little bit with Olive Omega, but I do probably just want to get two more Singularity levels out of Dark Manifolds so I can hit 616. And you can see I'm looking at where I am with Decremeni. I'm at E2, E116. That's, that's a decently close to the E1, E117 that I really want. Because this doubler is now like 7.2 times. So that essentially gives me like a whole new singularity level. And I'm already up to 613 at this point. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to wait a few minutes. I don't even need, it's not even that long. And I'll be able to reach 616 or yeah, singularity 616. And then I will probably go for achievements. And then probably after that, I'm just going to. Grind for E540 incrementing. Okay, so I'm finally approaching enough Dark Manifold to actually get another Singularity level. I'm at 614, and I'm, yeah, here's 615. What am I actually going to do? I'll grind a little more in this challenge just so I can, I can buy half of this, just so I can get enough... Um, I'm, I'm really close, but I'm not quite there yet. Enough Aleph Omega to get one more singularity level to here and this is 616 i think what i can do i can just do this i get the achievements and now i'm just two away i could theoretically try to go for even another singularity level considering i'm already halfway there i'm I, one one singular level is not worth it at this point so i'm just i'm going to exit the omega challenge i'm going to try the seven and eight pair because now what I can do is, well, hopefully I can try to get to Omega to the, or just get get all the way to E E one hundred decrementing. So I think I'm gonna want this. I'm gonna want probably this. I'm gonna want manifolds or buffs. I think that's what I'm gonna want. So I can't even. Why can't I even factor shift? It's infinity ordinal points. Can I get can I get booster upgrades? Yes, I can. So I should probably get this, so I can get down to base five, and I should probably get like all of these as well. And hopefully this means I can get somewhere. I, it's not even I can't even click. I can't even get anywhere. I'm in base five, and you can see how much decrement I'm getting. One. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, because challenge 7 applies all previous challenges at once. It also has the challenge 6 effect, which means dynamic factor just drops by a ridiculous amount. Which means that I'm going to need to use this upgrade. Boom. Except that this isn't all that good. It's EE47 decrementing. And I can't even factor shift. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I should get like third row. Oh, of course. That's the stupidest thing ever. I just forgot one of these upgrades. And now I finally have this achievement. So now I'm only missing a single achievement. I I might have actually, if I'm getting this in, like with Omega 3, Omega 4, maybe I forgot that with Omega Challenger 1 plus 8. So I'm just going to try that once. No, I wasn't missing anything. I mean, it seems like I'm getting a little more decremeny than before, but I, I, nothing, nothing groundbreaking here. So, yeah, I have, I've already done that. So I'll exit the Omega Challenge. I need to go now. Go into regular Challenge Three. So I should probably just grind a few factor boosts beforehand. Like just try to get a decent amount, and then also a decent amount of incrementy so go back here just get this and then then go into challenge three and i have to reach omega to the omega to the omega so if the base is five higher yeah what what base am i in am i in base four i'm guessing have to be in base four and look i mean if i'm in base four i'm very close to reaching yeah, it looks like I'm in base 4. And I'm now 1 64th of the way 
to Omega to the Omega to the Omega. So it's another little bit of a time wall, but it's really not bad. I'm already now 1 16th of the way there. So, yeah, I... Also, I probably should have granted more factor boosts with Singularity. Honestly, honestly, this is not a good build for this. But I'm now, yeah, you can just see I'm I'm getting really close to Omega to the Omega to the Omega in Challenge 3. And this will be the last achievement. This means I'll be able to enter the portal. Which probably means it's like, I'm not, I'm, I know I'm not going to unlock the next mechanic, but... It will tell me what I can do to unlock the next mechanic. So, I think here it is. Here is the achievement, which means I can finally enter the portal, which is enter the Incrementiverse. And this is the problem. I need E540 Incrementi. And to get that, it's a week long time wall. And I think that's if you play optimally. I mean, you can see how much I'm grinding factor boosts only to get E500 incrementing. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, not, not an Omega challenge, but a regular challenge. I'm just going to grind factor boosts, which means I'm, I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to refund like this. Get this, do this. I could try to, to grind factor boosts, but I'm not quite... I mean, I don't think this is going to be all that useful. I could also ex enter Challenge 9 just to see how much incrementing I can get at all. And you can see it is significantly more than what I was getting beforehand, but I'm still 30 orders of magnitude away. If you, if you look here in incrementing, E516. I'm supposed to get to E540 incrementing. So what I think what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grind factor boosts for like a day or two just to try to optimize my incrementing gain. And also this will help me accumulate olive power, which of course this is going to help me get like more incrementing and all that. And then I'm gonna do a very, very huge incrementing grind. Like, I, I have increased my singularity. Actually, I haven't even increased my singularity. I don't know why I can't even do that anymore, but... Yeah. that That's the plan. And I'll go on camera what, when, like, I reach... Yeah, when I'm executing the plan. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, it's been a day, and I'm gonna go... I'm gonna do it. Challenge 9. Try to reach E5440 incrementing. Let's... Do this. So, uh, yeah, of course I'll do this. Um, I have a good amount of olive power. I can now get E65 into everything. I can probably get another singularity level with this, like, easily. Um, I guess I have to deal with by max half of this, but it's another singularity level, so I think that'll be worth it. I first just have to well, make it to the point where I can get incrementy. So, my record is E518. I need 22 more orders of magnitude. And this is going to need to reach probably at least E550 per second if I want to actually make it to E540. But it looks like I'm already getting somewhere because I'm getting E542 incrementing every second. Well, actually not because it's, yeah, E527. Um, so, yeah, this is actually not, not E543. It's E520. Eight. However, this is increasing, and I do know this will take a very long time, so I can, I can like easily um, go up like five orders of magnitude. Essentially, what I want this to be is I want it to be five hundred and fifty-five. If I can reach that, that means I have, um, I've done it. Or, or yeah, or the e five hundred fifty-five incrementy here would actually mean e five forty. So. E550 per second is enough to reach E555 in a couple of days. And with my incrementium, I'm now up to E530. I don't know what these flashes are. Oh, really? Did I, did I really just downgrade and lose some progress? Yeah, I'm going to want to get up to, like, maybe something like 
470 so I can I can like let this go on for a couple of days I don't I don't need any of these upgrades and yeah just it's just gonna be it's a huge time wall that's that's what it is however every one of these doublers is actually giving me also I feel like this effect is capped at e120 that's probably why I can't get any more manifolds and that's why I'm like why can't I get my singularity any higher that's the reason Remember when I when I do get these doublers, it in, actually increases it by like seven times. So this means there is I think three doublers between where I am and E540. And if you do like seven to the power of three, that's around 350. And it's, a, it's actually even a little more than that. I think I can rely on maybe 400. So this means this two E529 is probably more like 8E531. This will definitely need to increase. But this will, I mean, I can see it's, it says E544. At the rate this is increasing, I can reach probably, like if I wait an entire day, this probably will go up all the way to E, 547. If you multiply that by 400, that's, um, that would be 4E549, which in reality would be 4E534. With that, it takes three days to reach E540 incrementing. I'm really hoping that's the case. It may take a couple more days due to, like, it's going to take a while to get these upgrades, but that's basically what it's going to be. Yes, it is the largest time wall in Ordinal Markup, but I am patient. I will persevere, and next episode, I will enter the Incrementiverse. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.